So here we are, we're at a giant Tualong tree, and you can see that nails have been driven into this to assist climbing. This is a really dangerous occupation. Going up these trees to get to the hives that are way, 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 way up. To climb this tree and others like it every year. Every single year. They do these hives lengthwise up on these branches. You can see that right there. That is a hive. It's a Tualong honey hive. And there are thousands of bees up there. And all you have to do is climb up this gigantic 200 foot tree and not get killed by the bees. Sounds easy. As soon as these guys are done having a healthy smoke and setting up camp, they will go up there and harvest. Okay. We are in Terengganu in the far northeast of Malaysia and we're uh, up pretty far north, uh, probably a hundred kilometers from the Thai border or so. I am with some honey hunters here. Uh, we're in front of a giant Tualong tree. Uh, Tualong trees are famous for their enormous height. They get as high as 250 feet tall. When the forest blooms, large bees, Asian bees, called Apis dorsata, um, they colonize these trees specifically. They build very big nests uh, along and under the branches, these kind of bow-shaped nests. There can be as many as a hundred nests in one Tualong tree, although this tree seems to have relatively few and that due to terrible haze that has uh, come over the Malaysian rainforest as a result of the burning down of the rainforests in Borneo, a tragic and just thoughtless mistake. Uh, but what's going to happen is the guys here, uh, the two honey hunters who are climbers, are going to go up this enormous tree and they're going to go out on a limb uh, and they're going to cut a hive uh, that has several thousand of these giant Asian bees and the bees are going to sting the absolute hell out of them. There's no question. These guys have been stung hundreds if not thousands of times and they will bring the honey down and the honey is rare. It is uh, considered a healing treasure. It has an unusual antioxidant profile. It's very high in unique skin protective compounds. It's sort of a legendary honey and the only way to ensure that you're getting Tualong honey, because much of it is adulterated or isn't just isn't Tualong honey at all in the market, is to go to the trees, see the collection, follow the chain of trade. So now they're setting up camp and uh, getting their ropes ready, getting their protective masks ready. We'll all be wearing long sleeves soon, as soon as they start uh, harvesting honey, we won't want to be unprotected because uh, apparently these bees are out to get us and they're good at it too. So there you go. All honey hunters smoke bees. It helps to subdue them. These guys have uh, dried coconut husk, which burns very well. It's really fibrous, catches on fire nicely. This guy's making some sort of a, a fanning torch. Probably make a few of them. This guy is climbing this tree using nails. The nails are pounded into this tree. 
and he is counting on these to keep him secure and to prevent him from falling to an untimely doom. We've been instructed to wear long sleeves because I guess when these get, guys get up there, the bees are going to be a little bit mad or a lot mad and uh, they're going to come after us. These guys all have tons and tons of sting marks all over them. Here we see some smoking coconut. The smoke is being used to help repel the bees, although we'll see how well this works. It's a crazy way to earn a living, really. But as we've always promised, we do in fact go to the ends of the earth to provide customers with the most remarkable and unusual botanical and other natural ingredients. And here we are kind of proving that point. is that he is actually taking this hive. They are uh, unquestionably unhappy about it. They're swarming and they're loud. Okay, the bees are swarming all over now. It's only a matter of time before they decide that we on the ground are also bad guys and try to take us out. That's why we're wearing protective masks and long sleeves. Okay, the bees are definitely swarming now. We got honey here. I have to say, these bees are pretty mad. Right now, we are uh, surrounded by bees. These guys are everywhere. especially happy about us. These guys have generously burned some coconut right beside me so I'm not being stung to death. Big Tualong tree here. And right in the center screen, you can see there's a hive. It's deceptive. It's hard to tell how big these hives are from way down here. It's about 150 feet up. You can see it's a good size hive, probably 10, 15, 20,000 bees. Should be quite challenging. <laughs> 